good morning students we have already seen the poem once upon a time and i think that you might have known the meaning of the poem once again i say the theme of this poem that is it is a lament of a father to his son when he came to know the present people's mentality that is they are selfish and expressionless characters and their activities he also say that he to learn these things that is to be a selfish person and he request his son that he wanted to relearn from his childhood days and also he wants his son not to be the people of the present days my son you be in a good character and selfless character and to behave how he behaved in his child childish days now we can see the figure of speech of this poem i hope you are all having book with you or else you note it in your note and underline it from the book okay students take down it i'll repeat it in the second line they used to laugh with their hearts so this is a figure of speech known as metonymy m e t o n y m y metonymy that is a figure of speech consisting of the use of the name of one thing for that of the another of which it is attribute or which it is associated simply we say that a thing or action is called not by its name but by its user so here laugh with their hearts that is metonymy and the fourth line laugh with their teeth that is also metonymy then uh, second paragraph fourth line that is also shake hands without hearts that is metonymy then eyes block cold eyes from the first paragraph it is a metaphor metaphor you know that it is an in air indirect simile or implied simile so comparing two unlike things without using so as and like so that is a metaphor eyes are compared to block ice block then uh, feel at home come again that is sarcasm sarcasm is a figure of speech that the meaning is the use of words that mean the opposite of what you really want to say especially in order to insult someone or to show irritation or to be a, be a funny one here they will say feel at home oh you feel at home you be cheer up don't shy come again they say but inside they will say don't come like that in the opposite meaning they think and they express oppositely in the outside then come to the next paragraph like dresses home face so that is simile as like dresses they changes their faces according to the situations then in the last line like a fixed portrait smile like a photograph like a photo or picture we are showing the expressions so that is simile and the next paragraph is good riddance good riddance is an oxymoron you know what is oxymoron it is which combines two seemingly contradictory element here they say good good riddance good is it for good and riddance means get rid of this place 
that is opposite one so contrast meaning are joined together that is oxymoron then comes to the last one uh, once upon a time once upon a time means that is a repetition from the first line also there and the last also there uh, it is a repetition and you are having many alliterations in this poem each and every line uh, we are having some in some lines we are having alliteration you know the meaning of alliterations that is uh, the sound of the consonant letters repeating in the same line that is known as alliterations so if they give a sentence and ask to write an alliteration words means you have to take down the consonant letter word and in the same line not in another line same line what the word is uh, again and the sound is coming out you have to write that word for example here in the first line uh, they teeth so they and teeth are there and search shadow search behind my shadow so the sound of yes is repeated there in, in next paragraph their time then hand hearts then far find and the fourth paragraph so sun then face 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 is a repetition and cocktail confirming is alliteration and hands heart being been being bored uh, then at the last sixth paragraph but believe want what when was uh, my mirror shows snake so these are all alliteration words so uh, today we saw the figure of speech of some uh, some figure of speech only uh, in this poem then we can uh, see elaborately in the next class thank you